Based on your conversations with HR leaders, where do you see the key priorities in 2016? I think for me, the, there are three key priorities that HR seem to be talking about. I think the first one is about the engaged, motivated, high-performing workforce. That is one of the critical things that continually comes through. And that's going to happen with, obviously, HR practices and processes being aligned and working together. But I do believe that retention is one of the key areas that we really need to try and get to grips with here. What is it that we need to do to look after the employees so that they feel connected, they feel part of the organisation and what it's trying to achieve? Recognition is a big part of that. And whilst I know reward inevitably will always drive difficult conversations, we know that those organisations that have those open and honest two-way communication with their employees, the, the fairness of the recognition and the reward process is the key thing. So for me, that's going to be quite hard, particularly as the aspiration of employees may be that, you know, things are looking a little better, so maybe I should be getting a pay rise. But I think organisations, quite rightly, are, are being very careful about the, their financial budgeting. So that, for me, is the first one. The second one for me is around the relevance of HR. HR always gets bad press. It has a, you know, a bad reputation, I think, unfairly. But I think there are some, some elements it needs to try and address, and we've been talking about it for years. It's about a credible, capable, and commercial HR function. I think it's about us demonstrating that we can truly add value as a function. And that leads me into the third theme that, that leaders are talking about, which is around technology and analytics. That's why the analytics debate is quite important. It's not today's fad. It's a way of enabling and using technology so that we can demonstrate the relevance and the value that HR has always demonstrated, but has had difficulty proving.